if what we really want to do is scale production of seafood, we can't be just solely reliant on wild stocks. La población mundial va creciendo a unos ritmos exagerados y esa proteína sana que es la carne de pescado también tiene que provenir de otras fuentes y lo que hacemos nosotros es tratar de contribuir ese granito de arena que le, que le ayuda al mar eh, proveyendo peces sustentables de cultivo. Our offshore site is about six kilometers offshore and about 70 meters deep of water. And at this site, we have our pens. I'm a business partner. He was a lot more of a discerning palate than I am. And so it was his job to take these various fish home and sample them. He came back the next morning and he walks into the, the yard, the tank yard, and he's waving his arms and his eyes are, are wide like this. He's like, Neil, Neil, you're not going to believe it. This fish, th th this Campachi, we're going to build the company on this fish. This fish is fantastic. I was like, really? Like, yes, yes, come, let's taste one. So we went over to the tank and scooped another one out and banged it on the head and sliced some sashimi up then and there. and. From the very first taste, it was wow. It's a mix in between uh, the characteristics of a bluefish and a whitefish. So that allows you to be more creative. So you can eat it raw, you can eat it, uh, you can eat it cooked, or you can make a sashimi or a ceviche. And it's a really interesting texture in the mouth. A quality is not something exotic or something necessarily wild. Quality is something that is made and raised with respect. La mejor cosa de mi trabajo es estar rodeado de la naturaleza eh, con unas condiciones increíbles para la acuacultura marina. Nosotros estamos en condiciones de mar abierto, donde las corrientes son muy fuertes, las aguas son muy puras y el pescado está en su hábitat natural sin ningún problema de densidades, de contaminaciones. We could produce a hundred times the current level of seafood production from offshore aquaculture. Esta, la acuacultura ya supera la, las cantidades que se pescan en el mar. No sé si vaya a reemplazar todo, pero sí creo que le va a dar un respiro para que el mar vuelva y produzca las cantidades que tenían. Our relationship with the oceans has not been a happy one, but there is a need for optimism. Let's start to think of solutions. There's that line from the Mary Oliver poem, what will you do with your one wild and precious life? And I like to paraphrase that. What will we do with our one wild and precious planet? <laughs>